well. You can proceed and you also tell us why it's okay if it is part of the prayers. It's part of the prayers, the okay. Honorable Chair. Uh, my client is not before this committee. And, uh, <coughs> Chair, we are making a prayer that you be pleased to suspend these proceedings on grounds that our client cannot access the precincts of Parliament. Chair, you are aware, and it's on record, last week, the Right Honorable Speaker issued a directive that whoever moved out of the House in protest against the ongoing abductions and also government's failure to produce a statement to that effect to give account for the disappearances that they shouldn't participate in committee proceedings as well. And the Honorable Chair, are you aware? The Honorable Zake is one of the principal MPs who moved out of the house. Actually, not only moved out of the house, but he's one of the leaders who organized the others to storm out of the house in protest against the ongoing abduction, the unabated abductions going on. And uh, the failure of the government, or the lead of government business, to heed to the directive of the speaker to produce a statement giving a full account. So, Chair, under those circumstances, our client wouldn't be permitted to be here. And indeed, if he made his way here, uh, there are concerns that he would face the wrath of the security uh, because they are under instructions not to allow anyone to access the committee the proceed, the, to be part of these proceedings. That is one. Two, even if the security did not interfere with his movements, definitely he would be seen to be defying the directive of the speaker. And one of the accusations being investigated by this honorable committee against my client is uh, according to the record that has come out here from the witnesses who have testified before here, disrespecting the, 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 the orders of the speaker. So you wouldn't want to be in that kind of situation again. OERS would be brought here to answer those charges of defying the speaker's directive. So he's in the process of sitting with other colleagues to see how that directive can be may be challenged in the Constitutional Court to pave way for the, this committee to proceed properly. But in the circumstances, right, I mean, Chair, you will bear with us. The directive still stands until the standoff is rescinded, rather the directive is rescinded, and the stalemate or standoff, one or the other, is resolved by the administration of parliament. So we pray that you be pleased to suspend the proceedings for him to be here. We so pray, Chair. Thank you. Did he receive a written communication or a verbal, he had a verbal communication of the speaker? Because I, for one, have not received a copy of any communication from the speaker detailing that some members of parliament will not be accessing the president of parliament and for that matter, uh, I've not. Maybe if you can, you can share with me or you share with this committee a copy of, of that communication. In any case, the other time when we wrote to you, we stated clearly that Zake has a right to be represented by his lawyer, and uh, you are rightly here representing him. And uh, for that matter, we are going to proceed. No, Chair, you need to respond to what you have said, whether he has received any communication. Okay, okay. Chair, the speaker went on record on the floor of the house, and it's on the hazard. So it's not uh, hearsay, it's not a uh, matter which is in the corridors. And whatever the speaker makes on record on the floor of parliament, the speaker's 
directive is captured on the hazard. So it is there. It's not uh, about to hear say two. Okay, okay. My presence here, Chair. I can see your restless chair. B, I think you need to listen to me, Chair. I'm listening. Yes, you need. If, if it would appear, you know, even just giving me this opportunity to be heard, it's difficult. Chair, the point here is you are saying you are rushing to take a decision, not even consulting your colleagues, not even listening to the application that I have made that you are going to sit as a committee to take a decision, then you are taking a unilateral decision, Chair. Uh, please, uh, please, uh, no, we must allow him to proceed, because he's saying we are not giving him time. And I want to ask him to explain whether Zakei is appearing here as a member of parliament or as a witness. Is he coming to appear here as a member of parliament or as a witness? Chair, if he is to appear as a witness, he himself has to be here. The lawyer can't be a witness. I can't be a witness. You get it? I can't be a witness standing in as a witness for the Honorable Zake. So if he is required to be here in the capacity of the witness, then he has to be here as a member of parliament. Because he's being investigated as a member of parliament. He's not being investigated as a stranger, as an outsider. We he's have invited him to appear here as a witness, but not as a in member of parliament. In his capacity as a member of as parliament. As a witness. So, Honorable Chair, it is our prayer, if, it's not ready, if you are not ready to entertain it, to listen to us and take a decision. Because this is the prayer. Ordinarily, I would request, I make my prayer. You sit as a committee, you take a decision. But if that is not going to be the case, allow me, Chair, if you have taken your decision to proceed, the Honorable Zaki has got a right to have representation. We permit me, if you are proceeding that way, I will withdraw from these proceedings. Because my instruction is to come and make a prayer that oh, the Honorable Zaki is incapacitated because of the circumstances occasioned by the directive of the speaker. Ah, well, well, thank you. So, with your permission, the Honorable Chair, if you are proceeding without even taking a decision on this matter, Honorable I Chair. beg to withdraw, and you accord the Honorable Zaki the right to get another lawyer, because he has a right to have a representation. Uh, well, since you, you wanted to get the, consent, the, consents of the, the consensus of the members, allow me to give opportunity to the honorable members to, to, to say something, then I make a ruling. But honorable chair, yeah. I think before the members, before you make a ruling, you should also listen to us because we are part of this case. Yeah. Sting. But after pass, the members, pass, let's pass, you could let's give pass, us listen opportunity. To the honorable members, then we come to you. Thank you, honorable chair. Honorable chair, the lawyer, Honorable Elias Lukwako, has represented his issue. I want to request that you allow the two parties to step aside and uh, give time for the members of the committee to make an in-house decision. Just like five minutes uh, a break to them, and we uh, retreat here and make a decision and tell them our final decision. I so request. Are you thinking together? Let me hear from you. Thank you, Chair. Mine is the same, but as well, we need to grant a chance for Council Noyerias Rukwago to give him chance and fair hearing of what he has explained. Then it is not the same with the other two. Honorable uh, Allen say we need to retreat, we make a decision, and we communicate to Honorable Okwak. Can we hear from uh, Honorable Kinyamata? Uh, thank you so much, Honorable Chair Just and Honorable Members. My humble request is that uh, we proceed, my humble request, for the reasons I'm going to give. Whoever is here is not here illegally. 
or was not hijacked. Letters were written to us, meaning that those letters take precedent over the speaker's communication because the, speak, the clerk to parliament wrote letters to each one of us to come and attend this meeting. Number two, I was in the house when the speaker was giving a ruling and the speaker did not stop any member of parliament from coming or accessing parliament. She only noted that those that are boycotting... Are you explaining what the Honourable... I was trying to inform the committee so that when you have an in-house meeting, you also take no, my Ms. consideration. No, we, we are going to refer to the Thirdly, answer. Thirdly, the reason... We are going to refer to the answer. Th oh, perfect. But not Thirdly, the opinion you're giving. Okay, perfect. That's why we see a NOOP member, an Honourable member, in this committee, I don't know why she was not stopped, and then the other NOOP members would be stopped to access Parliament. Who is a NOOP so, member? Herself. Honorable Teddy. Yes. So I was requesting, thirdly, my other issue is that these witnesses are from Rakai District. Honorable members, let us be sincere to the taxpayers. These witnesses belong to Parliament. They are going to incur the cost from Parliament. They came here last week. We couldn't proceed because of the service we had of the late Honorable Margaret Panga, which was genuine. But they made their way back. So will you have them again next time? Thirdly, I think from the beginning with our rules, I think we can listen to these witnesses. Why they were invited is that you wanted to hear from what happened in Rakai. So we can proceed and hear what the witnesses are saying and keep it on record. Then for the case of judgment, that will happen when you're writing your reports. But let's listen to these voices. Thank you so much. Well, That's my well, humble appeal. Thank you, Chair. Uh, and to the media, when we sit here, we don't sit as members representing political affiliations. We sit as members of parliament with the duty, with the responsibility given to them. I didn't know that Honorable Teddy was a, a, a NOOP member, but I was just looking at the Honorable members here as committee members on rules, discipline, and privileges. How did you access here? Because I hear the NOOP members are being blocked. Is it true? How did you access? How did you beat the security? Uh, thank you, Chair. Uh, I have access to Parliament. Without any problem. Because I saw this communication yes. uh, on, on our platform. Then I had to come because I saw it very, very important to be part of this committee to have a fair hearing from both sides. Uh, anyway, let, let's, let's give uh, the Honorable Lokwago and then uh, you, you retreat with and communicate in five minutes. Huh? No, Chair, just a procedure matter. It's a procedure matter. As you retreat to take a decision, there is a, a matter which is procedure is not okay. Chair, I can see there are three members here, members of parliament, with the chair. So you are only four members here. For this committee to take a valid decision binding, there must be quorum. And uh, chair, well, well, you chair you know, can I which, make my presentation? Then you, because you, see, you take a decision. You have to follow the rules, no, the rules of procedure. Chair, you will take a decision. You read Rule yes, 197. Yes, it can be frivolous, but Chair. You read Rule 197 chair, and then you get this chair, to you. Chair, Chair. And how I, you I, proceed. I, I wish I could be listened to. Yeah. And you, chair, this is a quasi-judicial quasi tribunal, a quasi-judicial body. This is not just any other and, committee. And this that's is, why I'm guiding this you is a tribunal. to read Rule 197 of our rules. Chair, this is what I'm saying. This is a tribunal. I'm looking at a question of justice, a question of natural justice, where you have a committee sitting with only three members to take a decision that is binding. Well, well point taken. Uh, you see now, even you're delaying yourself. We have given you five minutes to go out, then you come and we make a decision.
object in any one uh, or block in any one from accessing the precinct of parliament uh, because you are a new member. Otherwise, we will, we will not be having Honorable Teddy Nambose. Nambose? Honorable Teddy Nambose, a woman member of parliament representing PG district. She's here. How did she access parliament? Yet she's a staunch member of the new. So that, that complaint is not correct. Two, we have also listened to the concern of Honorable Kenya Matama, who has ferried about uh, five people, or more than five people, from Rakai, the same, uh, uh, same meeting. And both of you, you are, you, you are correct in your, in your argument, in your thinking. For this matter, let me read for you the rules of procedure of Parliament. Rule 197, it is on quorum of committees. Rule 97, 197, 1 states that unless the House otherwise directs all these rules otherwise provides, the quorum of a committee of the House shall be one third of its members and shall only be required for the purpose of voting. We were not going to vote and we are not voting, but we are going to decide. Chair is deciding. You listen, deciding that this matter be adjourned until tomorrow, same day, rather same time, same room. Uh, tomorrow when you come, you will get... Chair, the before you conclude, tomorrow I will not be around. I will not be around the whole of this week, and I will put it in writing, so I wanted to let you know that tomorrow I can't make it. Well, you people, you gave us work, and you're giving also money to the fourth estates, because they are getting news, something to write. Definitely they will get money from whatever they are going to write. So you have given us work, and... Uh, whether you're not coming tomorrow, you will receive a communication from the club. Secondly, there is also another issue which we're also investigating, and we slated it for tomorrow. For tomorrow, same time, same room. So, we will <coughs> proceed with that and I expect the lawyer representing Honorable Zake to come with Honorable Zake. To come with Honorable Zake. You have heard it from me. You have seen a new member here in the room. She has not been blocked. Nobody is being blocked. Zake is appearing before this committee as a witness, though he is still a member of parliament. Being suspended or being uh, uh, doesn't stop him from accessing this place. What I know, the speaker has not suspended any member from coming. There is no written communication to any member. The clerk has not issued any statement or any letter to any member preventing or stopping such a member from attending uh, parliamentary proceedings. To me, I think the Honorable Speaker was only threatening the privilege, the rules of privilege of the members of parliament. That is. Chair, yes, 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 uh, I, <coughs> I request the chair that my prayer be properly captured. It was not about only restricting the Honorable Zake from accessing the premises by, by the security at parliament. There was also another limb to it appearing before the committee here in defiance of the speaker's directive, which may cause I mean, other proceedings to be 
uh, uh, preferred against him, another church being preferred against him, to chair and also not to be seen like uh, he himself is coming here to oppose what the speaker decided as against other members because what we have learned, Chair, if you can cross-check here in the, uh, for consistency purposes, what we have learned in the Committee of Rigo, the members who have appeared there, the Chair has chased them away. The Chair has chased them away. The Honorable Nuagaba and the Honorable uh, of Bamunanika. They have been chased away from that Committee of Rigo. So, do, you have, do you have record for that? I've just requested that you cross-check. No, cross you have to provide the evidence to this committee because now you, you cannot give me work to go and cross-check. Provide the evidence that some members have been chased away from what? Because what you are giving, the communication you are giving, you are lying to the nation. You are giving sure. false information. Can you provide, can you give evidence to ascertain your, your allegation? Do you have any proof? Yes, so I can prove it. Chief. Yeah, you do it now. You no, do not it. now. I didn't know you would demand for evidence. Yeah. If, you, if you require evidence, so I can it, produce it. Is, it is wrong to, to, to quote it no, now. No, it is not it wrong. It is wrong to quote it's it not now. Wrong. It's, it's not, not wrong. true. I stand by what I've stated, that this is the no. correct position. They have been chased away from the committee. Are I'm you also lying. a member of that committee? Yes. Do you sit in that committee? I've been there when you had, when you, you stood over the matter of a ruling. I have been there. So you were collecting, you know, rumors along the parliamentary corridor, which is not correct. Chair, I'm giving you, you know, facts, you, not you, rumors. You, you are a respectable uh, lawyer. So avoid rumors. Avoid collecting rumors. You know, this issue, you cannot, you can even push it up to the next parliament. We shall be sitting in the next parliament. But, you know, it is for the good of your, your, your client. It is for the good of this committee, for the Most good of the parliament. The Most of I hope you wish parliament well and this committee. Most of the chair. Yes. So tomorrow, same time, we expect you to be here with but, your work. But, but the complainant said you should not be here tomorrow. We have not received, I have not received any, any, any formal communication. Parliament is a crisis. To the parliament is a crisis. Na bobe njini chokola kati ya bajifuga tebama nyi. Sipika ala gira bibie. Komiti enu chea yo gira bibie. Owa rules and the discipline committee. Eri ne sipine chea balalaba komitizi na boba kula biyabu. Can you imagine? Chea wanagambi enti yeta manyi sipika biya ala gira last week. Chea mani wa komiti. Sipika e yali kuiflo ya parliament. Aline muansad. Nga gamba talaba komiti yona ekeleza member wa parliament e ye karakase ya furu manga agamba ntino baga la kufuna list yo statement. Statement ya government kwa abo, abantu ababu zidu hao. Speaker ya liku record, ya liku furu ya parliament. Na alisubi dendine ona lebo chaya ono, one. Na alisubi de, nebo ya liba dete ya limu hao, sinti hansadi, ya jisumanti ya limu touch ne speaker. Chukula da kuraisi seri wo. Sipika, na akola ruri ingi, na ataji communicate ingeri wa chaya. Ya wagamba wa chaya person zibo nate wa kiri za omuntu ye na. Alimu kategoreyo, ya weka la kasa, abafu mamu parlamenti, abale medeweru wa parlamenti, okulinya mkomiti. Kakati ono, agamanti yeta jimanyiko, che uunyisa. Che uunyisa. Either, either simu e simbu, oba waliwe chizibwe cha amanyo, chiri mwawe. Se chuku vili. Tidak ingin aku shifting ke goro post. Tidak ingin aku kiri zaman itu bifana nabi aku shifting ke goro post. Boleh juga gambar zake, aje wano, bamo no nyeri zaku. Kakak dia gambar dia, fizake tu tu muat aganga member of parliament, tu muat aganga witness, enggak mujulizi. Yee, bamo dia aku street, bamo funa nangga member of parliament, mbu ya yogerebi gambonga member of parliament, ya biwe bula member of parliament kini amatam. Kakak dia ate. Baga minti haa titumueta ganga nga member wa parliament. Titumueta aga jimu kategori. Ati itia. Bamu uzi sanga member wa parliament. So olaba balina echigende leruwa. Echoku agalo kufuti anga proceedings zizi no. Baga ende mazo. Nibali mukachi 22 situation. Tiba inza kufayo. Atoma nyibuli luovera mchigu. 
aba manye chigubo chifana na buli rogeza ko okulwana gano kutagala tagalo chive mu chongera kunyweza ke katimba kano boka kwa bwa mu muri waliola byenkofunga baje kuteri mu katimba bwe buli rogeza ko kweta guruza nga kongera kanyweza nga kongera kanyweza kati buli je bakoma okuzanyisa tinkering with this tinkering with that okulwana gana ne chino chino ne chino be yongera kunyweza can you imagine your bad dad? They come again. They member of parliament. Basatu, Omu, Babiri, Basatu, OMPG, Owechiriandongo, no entwetwe. Omu, Babiri, Basatu. Who committee number? Oze se member of parliament. Mwe unyezani yoche. Tetu fete tu gonde de directive ya speaker. Zake obuta beda wan. Siku gamanti ya gonde de directive ya speaker. Njagala tu tegere keke. Na ye kwe walabi na dirira. Bano abamu juete kake bisangu sangu, nti ye anyoma nyoma sipika nebye baba basazi zao. Kumu juete kako bisangu, echo kubiri, kumu teka mumbera, nga jibata demba nuwaga boru alero, jibata demu sechitoreko, nebaba gamba mumufurume, kari singa ze wano nebamufurumia. Anaberanga, tunaberanga mumbera buetio, kwa kakati, techite gereke kaha. Directive ya speaker supe kwa ya kule ya funaruru wa bani. Ida actually chetu waga lokola. Meeting zigenda maso nga neozali. Nga honalebo zake yomu kwa spia heading. Ukulaba nti directive ya speaker tujitu wala mu parliament. Ukujiche. Uh, Tulimunte kateka neba member ba parliament ya bala langa zake yomu kubo. Ukulaba nti ruling ya speaker yuwa directive ye. Tujitu wala mu constitutional court. Tuju wakanye. Committees of law proceeding of Rungi. Cut committees of law proceeding. In fact, the decision is on the committees as it is taking. Cut Mumbera Jesirimu, Gabago Bagoba member of parliament. I think I will order your speaker now. Italy, Italy rescinded the Tajiduao. Committee, Nabio Yuakola Katibi, where we are Mateka. Tulimukavuyo, no, since there's a Sirim. Parliament, Erimukavuyo, Kere, Rikat, Kavuyo, Kavuyo, Eno, Murfuti Foot, Jibaita, Ligo Conandrum. Bali muka, muka tuwa giro, aka tuwa giro kama teka, aka tuwa giro ka orders. Kaka titomanya ni afurumia order, eriwe bany, e, bindinga, eriwe tabayindinga, katuwa giro kama teka, katuwa giro ka order, katuwa giro ka abulichimu. So yimbele yu jula ba, iramba sasi doyo, keta agomu ntu watali mumbele angono chea we mulabi. Kana katuwa giro kaja mutu wala. Oh, tukinde kudayo tuturi. Si tugenda kudayo tutule, tusareo, muri deburu unji. Chinyama, mfaki chinyama tama ye kanda zeno kwe kanda ga, na ufuruma. Agambi ye, nchata genda kubei rao. Asitu dabana, haba jesimanyeru wa magwa, iraka hii, haba zunza, haba leta wanu, andi haba mutumie. Okuhia lingitena tandika. Baga manti komiti ye, ye njini kuita haba julis. Nibu zize ye komiti ya tulira wa, okubayita. Haba bana haba jazunga na bobanga. Haba boja haba boja. Haba tambuza, haba kunguza, bana afunia na accidenti makubo. Komiti, emala kuhuli liza mujuliza asoka chinyama tama. Nera mwubi yeta haba kuhita yaba juliza abalala. Chinyama tama ateke duwa na kugamba waliku mkomiti na agamba vana nange, nyinayo, omuntu ya kola chino, obe ya kola chino, kwen subi ranga, mujulizi mutufu. Musango kuliku wabafuna na zake. Tuwa bagamba datu wagala speaker. Tuagala hona lebo ni wagaba, hona lebo nambeshe, hona lebo nyeko, na balala. Komitine tukambe kenda kutule ilabu bebe itaka, obate bebe itaka. Eno ya tude uku laba ntiba na bebe itaka, haba chinyama tamu. Kupangeri ya tukamba, ntie kenda kumala kutula, ilabu baba juli zebe itaka, obate bebe itaka. Kati eno ya tubrijo tube ila uwan. Nzete waliru na kukomitulu ya lietu de kumusangu kwa chinyama tamu, kwa sebe ilanga uwan. Batu ula dine baga ntiba na bajuli zi. Bajabu ungetana na boba weta. So, enembera yukula ganti. Bari mukatu bagiru. Tiba manyi chakora. Echu chemba budila teba manyi. About tomorrow's proceedings, I don't know whether we are even going to proceed or not. Because the one alebo chinyama tama herself has stormed out of the committee proceedings. Protesting the adjournment. She indicated that she is not available tomorrow. That the witnesses have been coming here. They have not been listened to. Their, their testimonies have not been taken by them. And you wonder, who took a decision to invite them as witnesses? They said they, deserve, they have the discretion to decide the witnesses they want. That this is not a hearing where there is an accuser and an accused. 
in which case their chooser would bring witnesses and they are choosed would also bring their own witnesses. This is not the case. They said all the, all the witnesses are committee witnesses and they have to sit as a committee, look at the proceedings, look at the record, look at the totality of the matter and decide whether they want witnesses or not. I've been attending all the proceedings of this committee right from the beginning up to this very moment. Nowhere has the committee ever taken a decision that they want those particular witnesses. And I was shocked to see the chairperson uh, addressing them as the committee witnesses that they introduced themselves. When did they take a decision that they need those witnesses who were brought all the way from Ruamagua? Poor boys, you sympathize with them. They are just being used as pawns in these matters. They are just pawns. They should not waste their time here. So for, for us, we are going to sit down and take a decision one way or the other on how we are going to proceed with this matter. You said you are considering to challenge Definitely, we, have to, we, are, we, are, we are sitting down with the Honorable Zaki and other members of parliament to challenge this decision of the speaker, which we consider to be a travailers, because she has no powers. She has no authority. She's not closed with the powers and authority to suspend members unilaterally like that without even subjecting them to the due process, without even naming them as per the rules, without suspending them officially or the floor of parliament out of the blue and say, you are suspended from all the committee seatings. That is illegal. It's an illegality. It's a nullity from the beginning. And we, we are considering challenging it in the constitution. But before we do that, the committee cannot proceed before it is successfully challenged. The committees cannot proceed in this Afghazadi banner where they are taking unconscionable decision. One committee, like this one of, on rules and discipline, they are taking a decision to proceed in total defiance of the director, the directive of the speaker. But again, other committees, like the one on legal and parliamentary affairs, they are saying, ah, ah, ah. For them, they are complying with the directive, and actually they have chased away some members, the Honorable Nwagaba and the Honorable Sechitoreko. So you can imagine the inconsistencies. They, this is why we are saying they are in a legal conundrum. They are entangled in a terrible legal conundrum, and extricating themselves out of this particular situation is going to be a little difficult. And the more they continue digging in, the more they continue getting deep into it, the more they, 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 they mess themselves up. Akakati, in the sector of Robert, in the member parliament, we have a lot of people who are parliamentary committee affairs and government assurance. In the case of Batu Iseng, I'm a strong leader of the community. I'm a message in the phone of Simu Yang, in the case of Roku Baby Awanu, in Uganda, we have a very good one. We have a very good one. We have a very good one. Olivia <laughs> Mukama fellow, up what to guide him. We have a position in Charlie. He is standard. He is a target. And if we check out again, we will be more and more. If you are covering, we have a way. 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 Kachenonya to agala kongero kutkanya neva kama wafu a lead of opposition ni timu yao tuwe kubanga chino inzo kubereka ati neva gamba chirala ato inzo kubere no neva gamba chirala sondo zetu yenzonge inkuru ni katula bera chiriwe mavega chuo sasa ntiola ba ku national level ba diwe ba tene kati umuntu kuchala ine chizibu cheta umuntu aline songe ndale injia uba ba diwe ba chitegeza waliwe cheta gokuteleza. Position over that. My name, a member of League and Parliamentary Committee Affairs. I've uh, entered into appearance for the committee meeting. And upon reaching there, I was told that uh, there is a position that those who are not attending plenary should also not attend committees. But to my dismay, 
have an official communication on my phone, even in the morning, I got a reminder to go. Because of the dynamics of politics of Uganda, so you may even be at home thinking that maybe now they based on that fact and the ground that this is the situation. Now, we have now the current trend and we need what, uh, to follow up with and uh, you know with the guidance of leader of opposition because our position is still clear that committee we must attend and preliminary we must stay out. So that is the position as per now unless there is a further communication over that. But if that is not the case, let's wait by close of business today. We shall get maybe further details over that. Did they explain to you exactly? Uh, no, no, not exactly. Because uh, if there was a clear explanation, uh, it would be on my, either on my communication when I was just summoning for the committee meeting. But I think there is nothing much, depending on emotions and someone whose argument maybe be, depends. So I can't tell that there is something which they have explained beyond that. I thank you. I'm still a member of parliament. So that's why the debate, to send a message on my phone. So for parliamentary business, even I'm entitled for order paper. So if that is the case, I'm still waiting to see the position of leader of opposition and the team and to forge the way forward. That's all. Attending and not, because attending is not a question. Because I'm a member of parliament, fully elected by Bamunanika. So, so uh, if our position has been adjusted, I'm following the position of the opposition side. If we are to attend as decided, I'll do so. If we still have that position, I'm entitled to stand on that because I'm an opposition member of parliament.